What's up everybody, Riley here from Hudson Motors with our newest giveaway truck. This is our 1987 Toyota 4Runner. This thing is so retro, so cool, and we're really excited to show it to you guys. If you don't know and you just stumbled upon us here at Hudson Motors, we build and give away awesome classic trucks just like this one here to people just like you, just by shopping on our website, hotsonmotors.com. You go on, you pick out anything that you like, you get entries in to win a vehicle. So if you're seeing this video before March 3rd at midnight, this giveaway is live. If you're catching this video after March 3rd at midnight, check us out anyway, see what else we're giving away. We're always doing cool stuff stuff and always giving away different trucks every single time we're not purists here we're not we're not just doing one special brand or anything like that we do a, a, a variety of different classics so if you like all classics like us then we follow along and you'll see some other cool stuff that we're giving away but something different about this giveaway that we're doing on this truck is it's only a week-long giveaway that's seven days from start to finish and then we're giving ten thousand dollars away on top of that as a bonus and you can take that ten grand as modifications to the vehicle or just straight ten grand in cash and pocket that money so it's totally entirely up to you so let's hop in and go over all of the goodies on this bad boy so again 1987 toyota 4runner sr5 so this is the first generation toyota 4runner so this is the truck that started it all a fourth gen toyota pickup is what this would be based off of and they took the toyota pickup and they said let's make an suv and they did and it is this beauty right here it is so goofy and weird and there's so many cool goofy things about it that we're excited to show you today probably the first thing everybody's going to notice about this thing is the paint job so this is a factory decal i call it a factory decal, decal kit i haven't been able to find any real information on these decals but if you find old forerunners they all had some crazy decal package now i keep saying decal but these are not vinyl these are this is painted on like painted pinstriping and stripes and all that kind of stuff um, but you find a different variation of these stripes on a bunch of different vehicles and so i don't know if this was a dealer option or a factory option i'm not sure i'm sure somebody in the comments below will probably correct me but again it is these are the original pin striping and decals that came on the truck back in 1987 and they're freaking cool and they're faded and they look great and so it's really it's really rad now we've only ever done one other patinaed truck giveaway all our trucks are normally painted or have at least nice paint this truck has some nice patina to it that we'll highlight as we walk around but it is just so freaking cool and very 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 unique um but before we go any farther than that i want to talk about the body and how straight it is it is so crazy straight very 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 straight very good shape body however i just want to point it out before we go any farther there is one bump and it's right here on the hood behind the bug deflector uh, this hood did take a, a nice little smack at one point in time and we didn't want to have to go and repaint the hood and lose the good fade in the decal and all that kind of stuff. So we said, you know what, we're gonna live with the bump in the hood and it'll be cool and fine and whatever. So that's about it. The rest of the body is just super, super straight. It was really cool. Um, but this bug deflector, speaking of, is rad, it is vintage. These were offered by RoadQuest and they do work. They keep bugs off of your windshield. They are super retro looking. They're kind of goofy and ugly, but in a good way. So we really like that we kept that there. There are some new components to this 4Runner, like a new grill, a new bumper. It all looks really nice. Nice, bright, good looking chrome all up in here. And then you'll see down here, kind of probably the most hammered on the paint on the whole truck is probably this front apron. It's got all sorts of rock chips and stuff. We thought maybe we should repaint that, but it's like, no, let's not go messing with it it looks rad and really 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 cool so let's make our way down the side here and show you more about it um, we did all new brakes and suspension components on this bad boy bilstein shocks all that kind of good stuff it rides and handles like a dream uh, so this is just stock suspension this is a torsion bar front suspension with the torsion keys just turned up a little bit to get a little bit more lift so we can clear these 31 inch tires these are 31 inch milestar xt tires super quiet great on-road and off-road tire wrapped around the factory wheels but we did something special to these factory wheels we had these sandblasted powder coated black and then uh, Ryan at 6651 Customs, our, our powder coat guy, he then has a machine that, that cuts the face of these wheels to give them that really nice chromatic look on the face. They look so, so, so clean and super nice. So the wheels turned out great, better than any factory 4Runner wheel, but the wheel is really cool and unique and we wanted to keep that. Um, as we make our way down the side, we've got power antenna, and the chrome trim around the windshield, it's all brand new. And then you see this awesome decal and you can see a lot of the fading in it, but yet there's still some clear coat left and it glossed up really nicely. So we really like this decal. These trucks are really cool because they're a half cab. And so this, the, the hard top portion of the SUV can be removed. And then you have this half cab, like a Blazer, a Bronco or a Ram Charger. Um, so they're super goofy, but they came with like a factory Rhino liner. It's not like finished paint, but it is, you know, it's just like this kind of rougher material, this bed liner kind of material, but they're really cool with slider windows here. And then the third window that kind of wraps up over the top, super goofy and cool and just super unique. So we really like those. As you come close to the back, you see that that decal starts to fade out and, and, and starts to fade away back into the white. So uh, you really get to see that, that, that character and that aging. 
As we come around the back side here, we call this truck Burt Reynolds, you know, or Turd Ferguson. If you've watched Saturday Night Live, you'll get that joke. Turd Ferguson, it's a funny name. But we call it Burt Reynolds because it's so 80s and the interior's so maroon and burgundy and it's awesome. And, and it's got this Burt emblem, which I think Burt must have been a dealership and they had these rad emblems made up. Um, I'm not sure, but we like that Burt emblem and we left it there. So the Burt emblem's really cool. Burt Reynolds definitely needs it, but it's rad. But again, this is an SR5, it's E5, which means it's got the 22RE and they're really rad. So back here in the tailgate section is cool. I brought the keys with me so that we could put this down and show you how this works. So these are a power tailgate, put the key in, and then your tailgate comes down. Everything back here works as well. So tailgate works, the rear wiper works, everything on this truck works. It's a, it's a pretty, it's really a pretty good time capsule. And then your tailgate drops down, and then there you go. There you get your first glimpse of that maroon, super 80s interior. The 80s were a crazy time. They're putting a lot of stuff up their nose. And one of their crazy ideas that they had when putting that good stuff up their nose was let's do some maroon interior. So again, back here, really cool, uh, that full trunk. And then in the back, you see the only thing back there right now we have is a, a nice car cover for the winter if they decide that they want to keep it nice and covered up. But again, really rad. And then these tailgates lock, they have a lock there. So you can lock that and then your tailgate goes back up. A fresh tint on all the windows. The tint was old and, and had turned purplish. We went and got the fresh tint done on all the windows as well, uh, make it look nice. Uh, new tail lights in the back as well, again, with the with the uh, the new rear bumper. Back here, we also got a little flush mount backup camera, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. Coming around the driver's side, you see, again, that nice fade into the fact that, that decal kit. And again, the decal kit's ugly, but it's just rad. It's just so cool. And you're starting to get a little bit of patina, a little bit of, of paint fading through. As you're starting to see primer in areas like this, you're starting to see little bits of coloration. So it's really just the beginning of patina. And so this is gonna to continue to grow and look better and better and better over the years. This is what you want. You wanna find a classic vehicle that has still a good amount of paint on it that is straight and hasn't been beat up and that you can continue to let that paint age and, and turn into that really nice patina, like just like, just like age like cheese. It's really cool. So again, coming down the side, it's gorgeous. It's really cool. It's got goofy proportions. And again, that, that, that hard top is so goofy and so cool. But let's look in the inside. You can see it here, just how maroon it is. In here, in the interior, this thing is darn near perfect. It is in such good condition. This is original upholstery, original carpet, original shift boots, original steering wheel, original dash, no rips in the dash. We keep the dash cover on there so we can keep it without getting any cracks. Again, the dash is in perfect shape. Everything works, air conditioning, heat, AC blows ice cold. The clock works, the power antenna, it works. So that's cool. The switches here in the middle for the wiper works, the window lock, you can put the window up and down from here. Everything, everything works, except for one thing, but we can make it work and we're working on it. We're trying to find some nice power mirrors. This was a power mirror option vehicle. And so it has power mirrors over here. However, the mirrors that are on here are some reproduction mirrors. Um, they are not power mirrors. We're trying to find some nice new old stock or something power mirrors that we can put back on this truck because all the wiring is there so that this can continue to work. This thing is power windows. The power windows, they work. They go up and down super nice. So again, this thing was absolutely optioned out. You've got your really cool Toyota parking brake handle that's here in the middle of the truck rather than the outside or a grab handle here. So that's cool. Again, just everything works. This thing has clutch start stop so that you can, if you were to be in underwater or something and you needed to use your starter to get yourself out of the water, you could. Um, but everything again is functional even all the way up to the altimeter and the level finder here. So you can see that we're on a little bit of a right pitch and a downhill pitch. It all works as well. So it's just freaking cool. One of the only things we did here in the interior was this uh, touchscreen. So this is a this is a Jensen touchscreen. This is Apple CarPlay, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So that's rad, it'll hook right up to your phone. So again, everything in here is functional and, and is awesome and, and it is just ready to cruise and daily drive. So. Uh, whoever wins this is gonna is gonna absolutely love it now if you look in the back seat adults can fit back there i'd say probably only two adults but but they will fit and it is just as maroon back there maroon headliner everything and so back there you got your little roll bar and then up here we even have our our little moon roof so let me pop this guy down here boom you've got you've got even got a sunroof it pops up and then boom you can pop these up and this will pop up you can pull the roof the back half off I don't know if this back half has ever even come off. I don't want to take it off because I don't want nothing to leak. But again, whoever wins, they can be my guest and let me know how it goes when they go to take that off. But again, all of this is just 
it's just so clean and it all works so good. You got your little puddle lights up here, the nice satisfying clicks. Again, it's just awesome and super, super, super clean. So let's pop the hood and talk about what's in there. But first let's talk about right here, five-speed manual transmission, manual shifting transfer case. This is a brand new transmission from Marlin Crawlers. And so that's nice, it shifts great. Talk about more, more on that when we do our little driving impressions. And then let's pop the hood and let's talk about that 22RE. All right, so under the hood here, we have our very bone stock, but very nice 22RE, but I shouldn't say bone stock. This engine bay is bone stock. We want to keep this looking very clean, very easy to work on, nothing aftermarket, no crazy mess of wires, nothing like that. However, this is a 22RE, one of the most beloved engines of all time. It's so reliable. They don't make crazy power, but they're just so reliable. They get good fuel mileage. It's a great engine in the classic because um, it'll just never leave you stranded. Uh, but you can see on here, 22RE performance. This is the performance kit from LC Engineering. Uh, this is their camshaft, the headers, exhaust, and intake. And it makes this thing liven up really good and it runs and drives so stinking good. The only other thing we had to do in here was, obviously we did new spark plugs at the same time. And then we got a new airflow meter as well. And so the thing runs like just an absolute top. I'll crank it over so you can see it just, again, this is gonna be something where no problems. You're gonna be able to drive this thing every stinking day and it's just gonna be absolutely awesome. So let me crank it over. Yeah, she runs like a top, super nice. Yeah. Uh, let's plug in now our, our driving impressions so you guys can see what it's like to drive this thing. It's really rad. And uh, you'll see this thing is an absolute cruiser, total daily driver. Guys, a quick, really quick breakdown of what it's like to drive this thing. Number one, it is comfortable. The interior is so nice, so comfortable. These bucket seats are crazy comfortable. Uh, seating position is good. I'm six feet tall, 200 pounds. And I am very comfortable. I don't feel cramped or crowded at all. However, if you're a little taller than me, the seat's all the way back. So if you're a little taller than me, you might be a little crowded in here, but it is a small truck. Um, power, this is the 22RE, but it has the LC engineering power pack. So it's their camshaft, exhaust, headers, uh, and intake. And uh, it makes a massive difference. This truck has enough power to get around town, pass people, and and you don't feel dangerous at all. 22RE's are not rocket ships, but this thing feels great and is a lot of fun to drive. And then you get that reliability of a 22RE and you know the fuel economy and all that kind of good stuff. So it's rad. Uh, transmission is wonderful. Clutch pedal is great. This is a brand new transmission from Marlin Crawler, but the clutch feel is perfect. It feels awesome. And you know, it's the it's the quintessential clutch feel that I really like. Just a nice firm clutch feel all the way through, no spring or anything like that. Brake feeling is great throttle response is wonderful again um, and it's great steering in this thing is awesome uh, this is not the solid front axle this is the IFS uh, forerunner and a lot of people scoff at the IFS because it isn't a solid axle but when it comes to just being a driver this is better it drives so straight it is so confidence inspiring going down the road to have IFS so it's great and uh, again, in these classics, I don't think anybody is going to be doing some any crazy serious bouldering type of off-road where you would require where you'd require a solid front axle. So any trails and light off-roading, it's going to be better in IFS than it's going to be with a solid axle anyway. So, uh, yeah, I, I really like it. I, it. It rides so good. It rides so much better than a that a lease from front end Toyota pickup. So it's really great. I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah, this thing is just, it's a blast to drive. Uh, on the service streets, it does great. On the highway, it does wonderful. You're able to do 80, 85 miles an hour in it on the flats. You know, still don't have the power to keep up with that speed when you're going uphill. But again, it, it is fun and it is, uh, it's it's got enough power again to, to still be enjoyable and, and it's great. It's quiet in here. You're not, you're not constantly battered by loud exhaust or whistling windows or anything like that. Um, so it's great in here to be in, but really enjoy it. Uh, there's no fatigue when driving this, like driving other classics where at the end you're just kind of like, oh, like my ears are ringing and my back hurts, but you know, that was still fun. This is just very comfortable and you could commute in this thing every single day and be happy. So uh, it is great for that reason, for sure. Let's talk about visibility. Uh, because it's a forerunner, you got a bunch of glass and some really chunky B pillars where your seat belts mount to, which kind of obstruct your vision. But you have a and you have a roll cage in the back. But there's so many window panes on this thing that you know you don't 
you, you don't really realize that your visibility is getting cut down by that B pillar. So your visibility is actually really good. So uh, that's kind of what it's like to drive on the surface streets and on the highway. Now we're going to go do a little off-roading and I'll tell you what that's like. We've got the guys in here. We're doing our little trail up to where we're going to take pictures and videos and stuff. So uh, everyone's loaded in. Sterling, you're a full-size male, grown male. You're a big boy. You comfy back there? Three of us, it wouldn't be comfy. Yeah. Yeah. Two would be good back there. Right. Right. And the uh, truck feels amazing too. Yeah. Truck feels great. Truck handles this kind of stuff easy. And you know, just this little washboard handles pretty nice. And you know, we like it. So now we're about to get to some deeper ruts and stuff. We might need four-wheel drive for this, but <laughs> we're gonna find out real quick here. Oh, it's got it. It doesn't, Toyota. It doesn't need no. It doesn't need. It's so capable. So we need a little bounce around, but I actually feel like it handles this pretty good. Does it pretty easy. It's pretty nice. You know? For a little again, a little trail rig, get some deep ruts, some rocks you gotta go over, you're gonna have no problem whatsoever. And you'll be plenty happy. You're gonna another big deep one here. See how she notice. It just got a lot of rain where we're at, and so these ruts are gonna be deep, deep, deep. But she just handled that, no big deal. We're here, so again, it handles that kind of stuff, those ruts, dirt road, you know, some washboard, plenty, plenty fine. It's comfy too. I know, it is comfy. I like it. All right, well, with that, uh, that is it for today's video. That's it for the walk around. Again, this thing is so clean and in such good condition. We love it, and we are so excited to give it away. Uh, it's gonna be a very fun giveaway, very short, and it'll be great to see if people take the 10 grand in cash or if they wanna modify the vehicle more. I wouldn't do anything else to this thing. I would leave it alone just as it is so cool and so rad. It rides great, it steers great, it drives great, it stops great, does everything great. So, you know, if somebody wanted to make it a little more, you know, make it a little more overlandy, put a roof rack or something on top and a tent, that would be pretty cool. But again, as is, it's a perfect daily, take this thing to work every single day and just enjoy the heck out of it. So it's really, really, really cool way cooler than any next generation forerunner that's for sure and i drove i had a third gen forerunner as one of my dailies one time and that was a that was a great truck too but this thing that thing does not hold a candle to how cool and how unique this truck is so if you love this just like i do and you want to win it you got to go to hotsonmotors.com pick out anything that you like on our website every five dollars that you spend is one automatic entry to win again this giveaway is going to close on march 3rd at midnight and then we'll probably pick a winner a week or two later i'm not quite decided on when we're picking a winner yet just depending on how long it takes for us to to get everybody's orders out and whatnot so uh, but again we'll pick a winner and then they'll be flying in and driving this bad boy home so again if you like it go to hotsonmotors.com pick out something that you like and uh, we might just be calling you guys in march but thank you for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one peace